Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jammer coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we've got the flash sale as well as Thanksgiving wrap-up. So let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we are on the final refresh of the flash sale event. You'll probably be seeing this video after the event has actually expired, but... I just wanted to give my thoughts on it and claim up my final rewards for both this and the Thanksgiving event. Now, first and foremost, guys, we'll talk about Thanksgiving. Uh, sorry, Flash Sale. So Flash Sale, in my eyes, was pretty poor, um, especially the first half of it on the Friday. When that came out, guys, that was absolutely disgusting. Um, the way that the event was set out, it was overpriced. The rewards from the events were dreadful, um, as well as, you know, everything costing FIFA points. They did make some uh, welcome changes on the uh, update when it did happen. I think it was like sort of six hours before the reset on the Friday after all the community had sort of gotten on their back about it. Um, you know, with the reduction in stamina, the increase on the uh, points from the skill games, as well as having an option to use gems for the refresh. Um, so they were all welcome changes, but still, um, in my eyes, guys, the Season 2 Flash Sale event has probably been the worst one out of uh, all three seasons of FIFA Mobile. Last season's Flash Sale event was absolutely fantastic. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that event. They did it well this time. I think it's just the hour refreshes. That's where they really messed up. And also, some of the um, players, as well as like skill boosts, were quite heavily um, overpriced in my eyes. But what we're doing here, guys, is actually going through and trying to get the doublet. Now, this is nice that we've got the ability to re-roll for gems, but... This is just like proof, like more proof as to like just so many things wrong with this game, guys. Why isn't there like a rule where if you open X amount, you're just given the reward? Like, you know, you shouldn't be getting repeat coins, uh, repeat uh, event doublers, uh, sorry, you know, like skill game bonus doubles or whatever they're called. Um, it should just be like a mercy rule. So if I get one of them, I, I can't get it again. But that's not the way it is, unfortunately. But we're still going to go through here. And try and get the doublet. Now I've been reading um, a whole bunch of stories about people not getting enough of the uh, doublers. And they're just spending thousands upon thousands of gems. And it looks as though guys we are going to be getting that. So I'm just going to skip the coins because to be honest with you it's not worth me clicking uh, the two and a half thousand coins. It's just not worth my time. So let's just run through this and see if we can get it. We will pick up the uh, Thanksgiving points. So let's see. Also, we did sell um, Kante as well as Aspel Equator. Cards have gone up quite a bit. Um, and also, I did decide to go uh, with the Team of the Week points, if we can get the doubler, um, obviously. But the reason as to why I went for Team of the Week points, guys, is I'm just going to save them um, until we get some Masters, and then I'll probably uh, spend them at a later date. So that is my plan uh, with the Team of the Week points. I'm not going to spend them uh, recently uh, in this current refresh, because a lot of people will be getting the cards and they'll probably be uh, relatively cheap. And there may be a card in the future that I really, really want or I really need for my team. So I'm just going to be holding on to them. So I do like the Team of the Week points, but look at all these gems that we need to spend, guys. It's pretty crazy. Can we get it finally? Like, this is r ridiculous. I'm going to be right back uh, in a minute, guys, and then we'll go from there. And finally, guys, after about 19 or 20 attempts or something, we got the doubler. So, I mean, still all good. Um, luckily, I didn't have to spend thousands upon thousands and thousands of gems, but still, things like that need to be looked at, guys, because it really is just gambling at the end of the day, and it's not its not a good way for a um, football game to go, in my opinion, but that's what they've decided to do. And here it is, guys. We're going to be getting 600 uh, Team of the Week points in total, which is absolutely fantastic, so that will take us to 920. Anyway, guys, what I want to do is just jump into Thanksgiving, uh, talk about that in a bit more detail, claim up some rewards, and then we will go up from there and end off the video. And guys, just quickly, uh, the Thanksgiving event. So we are going to claim up some rewards and do a few of these refreshes. So firstly, um, mashed potatoes, corn, turkey, pies. It really did feel like a cooking simulator and not really a football. Also, uh, the bonus plates. There's too much random elements in this, in my opinion. It should have been constant, or it should have been like a chronological order of, you know, which food item came next to give everybody a fair and uh, equal opportunity but obviously the reason why it's the way that it is is to get people to spend their gems and FIFA points uh, on packs but let's see what we can get guys so obviously here 
Um, we've got two at 50, one at 25, and then mashed potatoes at four. We did previously do uh, the bonus play, and of course we got mashed potatoes uh, when we had everything else uh, over 25, so or and two at 50. So let's just see if we can get uh, one of the bonus plates with actually something that isn't a mashed potato. So let's see, guys, what's it going to be? If not, I'm not going to be too mad about it. But we do get corn there, so that's actually quite nice. And once again, we only get it for um, 25 points, so... I've pretty much been getting a whole bunch of the uh, 25 point bonus plates um, and not really all that many 50. Obviously guys, in this instance it does work out well because we did only have 25 corn, uh, sorry 26 corn, so that's absolutely fantastic for once, things actually worked out. Um, but now what I'm going to be doing is probably just uh, gambling on some of the higher ones and hoping to obviously pull like turkey or pie. Um, but what I want to do quickly is just go and claim up some of the rewards. Now firstly guys, I'm going to be claiming up this 91 max overall because I don't know which event will give me the opportunity to actually uh, give me the ability to train my players up further. And this was quite cheap because these uh, rewards in this event aren't actually the greatest. We are going to be claiming up these epic boosts as well. I will probably be going off to get um, the epic boost, but this is probably sort of for future planning because as it stands, I don't have any players uh, in my team with epic boosts. I could go and get like some of the coins. Uh, and some of the XP, but I'm just going to get the boost for now because I feel as though it could be um, sort of the best thing in the future. So let's just keep on going, guys, and move up the path. What we've got here is some gems. What did you guys go for? Did you guys go for XP, um, coins, gems? I was thinking about going for the logo, but to be honest with you, it's not a very memorable event uh, in my eyes, so I'll be staying away from it. So this is a very expensive reward. 300 Thanksgiving points for only 150k and uh, 10k XP, but I'm doing it for the boost, guys. And then I'll probably, you know, try and scavenge whatever I can uh, from the remaining resets and then go from there. But to be honest with you guys, these two events haven't been the most impressive um, and definitely probably not the greatest way to start the season. And look at this distribution, guys. This really does need to be fixed sort of as soon as possible, in my opinion, because the distribution of skill boosts is absolutely atrocious. And I would say this every time I open up skill boost packs until it is fixed. Um, but yeah guys, obviously these events haven't been the greatest and the game needs to improve drastically um, in my eyes because it hasn't started off well. But other than that guys, let's hope that things do continue to get better. Um, you know, the flash change was a good thing. But other than that, this is Jamrat signing out for the day. Thank you all for everything and peace.